them like a jigsaw puzzle so they fit together um, at least getting them in sort of the orientation for um, welding them together so as you can see here what's up everyone um, this is Caleb from Project LS Audi A4 if you're not familiar with this channel basically I'm putting an LS motor into a B7 2008 Audi A4 I'm retaining the all-wheel drive transmission so this channel this project is dedicated to the build progress um, going through with that so I wanted to give some updates today I got some components in uh, thanks to my dad and then this is like a continuation of the previous video so in the last video went over how I designed these motor mounts um, so this was the first prototype and pretty much it's pretty difficult ignore all the 3d scanner dots it's pretty difficult to get these compound angles quite right and it's not the best for manufacturing so what I decided to do was instead I will be using either laser cut or water jet in this case metal sheet metal so this is just quarter inch thick um, steel in the last video I designed some motor mounts check that out if you haven't seen it and then if I can get these apart they basically I tried to make them like a jigsaw puzzle so they fit together um, at least getting them in sort of the orientation for um, welding them together so as you can see here I've got one of these things taped together to kind of give you an idea of the construction <coughs> excuse me but basically the plan is I'm going to 3d print out a jig which is in the shape of the motor mounts that's going to be used to make a fixture plate so after I've got that printed out then I'm going to 3d scan it and make sure it matches the model but then what I will be using is there's countersunk holes that are going to be used to bolt it to this plate here this jig fixture so pretty much I'm 3d printing a piece out to get the fixture correct welding this fixture together and then I can produce my motor mounts on that so hopefully in the next video I'll be showing you that but in the meantime I've got some updates on the starter bear with me one second all right so this is the update I have for the starter so I went ahead and ordered a aluminum 6061 billet piece in order to make the starter bracket with and what this allows me to do is run this smaller diameter flywheel on the LS and with this smaller diameter flywheel then that lets me fit this small flywheel inside the Audi bell housing I've got it hooked up just temporarily with some jumper cables here and a battery the cables are pretty small diameter so just keep that in mind it's a little bit weak sounding but I do have the spark plugs in it too so as you can see it's struggling a little bit but the diameter of the wire is a little bit small so pinion alignment all of that checks out perfect so um, super excited about that hopefully have uh, some updates here pretty soon regarding the adapter plate and maybe getting this thing put back together so that's all I got for you guys today stay tuned thank you so much I also got this pretty little toy here so be posting a video here pretty soon this thing's pretty slick Stay tuned guys, like, share, subscribe.